Let's talk about eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Let's suppose you want to solve this kind of an equation here where a is a matrix and lambda is a constant. Constant. Um, okay. So the idea is uh, think of this this is a vector, this x is a vector, and you're going to multiply it on the left by a matrix. But the idea is that you're looking for this vector so that when you hit it, when you multiply it by this matrix A, that A doesn't really affect X, at least not in terms of um, what direction it points. So here's some vectors sitting out here, X, and you multiply it by A, and A doesn't swing it around at all. It stays put. It stays put. It's stationary in a, in a sense, um, except that it may be contracted by some amount or stretched out longer um, by a factor of exactly lambda. So that's exactly what that this equation says. Now, lambda could be negative, in which case it would send x uh, backwards. Okay, so we want to find. Um, if you're given a matrix A, sometimes it'll be important to know what are the possible um, values of uh, vectors here called eigenvectors, and what are the possible um, eigenvalues that go along with those vectors. So um, solving for x, um, we have uh, you know ax equals lambda x. Remember, A is a matrix, x is a column vector, lambda is a constant. Uh, this implies that ax minus lambda x equals zero, okay? Which implies that uh, ax minus I could just uh, maybe instead I'll I'll write this lambda x as lambda times i x, the uh, identity matrix equals zero. That way I can write um, what's going on here is matrix multiplication, to, um, a matrix times x equals zero. Okay, so in order for a non-zero vector x to satisfy this equation, then it means that um, uh, that is if x is non-zero. That's the only interesting case, I guess. If x is a non-zero vector, it actually points out away from the origin some amount. Then this implies that a time a minus lambda i cannot be invertible. Um, must be singular or non-invertible, okay? Um, or equivalently, um, this is equivalent to the, the, the determinant of a minus lambda i uh, being equal to zero. So here's an example. Um, uh, let's say a is this matrix negative four, negative one, two, negative one. Um, then, um, then the determinant of negative four minus lambda, right? Because I'm taking the matrix A minus lambda times i. So I'm going to take off lambdas along the diagonal there to negative one minus lambda. Okay, I'm going to take the determinant of that. Now, the, the determinant of a two by two is just um, the product this way minus the product that way. So um, this determinant is going to be, this is easy, it's negative 4 minus lambda times negative 1 minus lambda um, minus negative 2, right? That's 2. So this comes out to be, I think, if you uh, multiply this out, you get 4 plus um, lambda plus 4 lambda um, plus lambda squared plus 2, or 6 plus 5 lambda. Um, plus lambda squared, right? And um, uh, now that factors easily. I don't have to use the quadratic formula or anything kinky like that. I can just say this is uh, lambda plus two times lambda plus three, um, which implies lambda equals negative two or negative three. Okay? So those are my eigenvalues. These are my eigenvalues. That means there are a couple of vectors sitting out there pointing in some direction and actually we're in two-dimensional space, right? Um, and you take one of them and hit it with the matrix A and it's going to keep pointing in the same direction but it's actually going to um, uh, then turn itself around and, and uh, uh, get twice as long. The other vector will also turn itself around because of the minus sign but get three times as long. That's what that's the effect that hitting it with matrix A um, will have.
So let's find the eigenvectors. Uh, to do that, um, uh, we've got two of them, so we'll have to do this thing twice here. What I'm going to do is solve uh, a minus lambda i times some vector v, um, which will be an eigenvector, um, equals zero for v, given, say, lambda equals um, you know negative two. Then, well, if lambda equals negative two, then you have uh, this is going to be negative four plus two, right? Lambda is negative two, and then I got a negative one and a two and a one plus two times v. This will be um, negative two two negative one one times v, and I'm setting this equal to zero. Um, but this is the same thing as you know if I write in these. Uh, more familiar equations. This is like negative 2 v1 uh, plus 2 v2 equals 0 and negative 1 v1 uh, plus uh, 1 v1 1 v2 excuse me equals 0. So um, this implies you know what what kind of vectors will satisfy this? Um, well the vector 1 1 will we'll satisfy it, um, right? Because if I put in a 1 here and a 1 here, I get 0. Um, 2, 2 will satisfy it. Negative 9, negative 9 will satisfy it, as long as these two elements are the same. So it's, it's actually any scalar multiple of the vector 1, 1 will work. So in fact, um, you could say um, uh, this set of vectors, um, you see in the reals, that spans the, spans the eigenspace for the corresponding um, eigenvalue of lambda equals negative two. Okay, so all of these vectors are are eigenvectors, and, and in fact, that's that's what you see. Okay, you take any uh, in this case any vector that's pointing along this direction, and what what will happen is hitting it with that matrix will have the effect of turning it around backwards and then sending it to over you know twice as far away from the origin. It's along that direction. Or if I took this one and hit it with the matrix again, it would send it back this way, but twice as far out. Okay? So, you know, if, if, this, is, if this is the vector um, 1, 1, then this is the vector A times A times 1, 1, right? Because I've, here I've hit it, right? This is A times 1, 1. Okay, if I hit it again, hit this one by it, it swings it around and doubles. Okay, what about the uh, the, the next eigenvector? Um, I'm running out of room here, so I'll try to squeak this in down here in the corner. If lambda equals negative 3, in this case, we get um, what, negative 4 minus negative 3 is negative 4 plus 3. I get negative 1 and 2, and then negative 1 minus negative 3 is negative 1 plus 3. Um, times v equals 0, but that's the same thing as saying, um, it's the same thing as saying, what, uh, negative 1, negative 1, 2, 2, times some vector v equals 0, or uh, v is, uh, you know, of the... Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's something in the set of um, uh, c times 2, 1 for c in the reals, okay? Uh, so that is this vector 2, 1 spans the, the, the eigenspace for this uh, um, other eigenvalue of negative 3. So, um, so what that looks like is, you know, if I take any vector that points along this direction here, if I go out, uh, so let's say one, two, and then up one, okay, uh, I go to there. Um, if I hit this with uh, with the matrix A, what that's going to do is it's going to swing it around and multiply by what was the eigenvalue negative it's going to be multiplied by three so it'll turn it backwards and and then stretch it out by three so one two three and it'll send it back over this way let's try to verify all that stuff with with r